Hello friends, today's topic is Convalescent Plasma Therapy to Treat the Coronavirus Disease. If you are new to my channel, then please hit the bell icon and do subscribe to my channel. Convalescent means a patient who is recovering from an illness, sickness or debility or the effects of the medical treatment partially restored to health or strength. A newly approved treatment with some history of success could offer hope for the sickest of the country's COVID-19 patients. Convalescent PT involves transfusing certain components from the blood of the people who have recovered from the virus attack into the people who are very sick with the virus or the people who are at a high risk of getting the virus. So, the therapy takes antibodies from the blood of a person who has recovered from a virus and transfuses those antibodies into a person sick with that virus has long been used as a way to help to kickstart a person's immune system. What is CPT? The passive antibody therapy seeks to transfer antibodies to a sick person to protect from and treat the disease. The aim of the therapy is to take the antibodies from the blood of a person who has recovered from a virus and transfer them to a sick person. In this way, it is expected that the virus will be neutralized. Several studies have already started in different parts of the world to test effectiveness of the convalescent plasma therapy in treating COVID-19 patients. The idea behind this therapy is that immunity can be transferred from a healthy person to a sick using convalescent plasma. Convalescent plasma refers to the plasma from the recovered COVID-19 patients. The blood has four main components. The plasma, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. Plasma is the largest component of your blood, making up about 55% of its overall content. When isolated on its own, blood plasma is a light yellow liquid, similar to the color of the straw. Along with water, plasma carries salts and enzymes. Plasma is a critical component in treatment of many serious health problems. That is why there are frequent blood drives encouraging people to donate the blood plasma. The proteins and the antibodies in the plasma are also used to create therapies for rare chronic conditions such as autoimmune disorders and hemophilia. With access to this treatment, people with these conditions can live long and productive lives. Uh, in fact, some health organizations call plasma the gift of life. Antibody, also known as immunoglobulin, is a large Y-shaped protein produced by the plasma or the B cells are used by the immune system to identify and neutralize foreign objects such as bacteria and viruses. The antibody recognizes a unique molecular pathogen called an antigen. So, in this therapy, blood is drawn from a person who has recovered from the disease and the serum is separated and screened for the virus neutralizing antibodies. When attacked by a pathogen, our immune system produces antibodies and in this therapy, these antibodies from recovered patients are used to treat other sick people. The two types of antibodies are formed after coronavirus infection. The IgM versus IgG. Positive IgM and IgG test for corona antibodies detected in an initial blood sample means that it is likely that the person became infected with the coronavirus within the recent weeks. If the IgG is positive but the IgM is low or negative, then it is likely that the person had an infection sometime in the past. If the same blood group is present, then it can be transformed by blood transfusion method. But if there is different blood groups present, this is the almost 90% cases although, then the donor or the patient recovered from the COVID-19 recently was used to donate their blood plasma. So, the blood plasma is isolated and collected, then the antibodies are extracted from the blood plasma and then the recipient receives or it was injected 
uh, to the recipient's body. All the donors must be diagnosed with COVID-19. The donors uh, should have no complaints for at least 14 days after recovery. Legally, people between the ages of 18 to 60 can be donors. The immunized plasma is collected from the individuals who meet these criteria and stored in the blood bank. There are downsides to CPT as well. This therapy, if approved for a wider use in treating COVID-19 patients, is too laborious compared to a vaccine, which is ideal but yet not available. So CPT may be seen as a temporary stopgap measure, especially for the severely ill patients suffering from the deadly coronavirus. First, a donor must be thoroughly screened and proven negative. Second, the donor must be healthy and free of other diseases. Third, the plasma from the donor must be processed in a lab before it can be administered into a patient. Most of the studies so far on COVID-19 CPT were conducted on a very limited population. In most jurisdictions, the access to COVID-19 convalescent plasma for patients with serious or immediately life-threatening COVID-19 disease may be difficult. So, I request everyone recovering from this disease to become a volunteer plasma donor. This is not only a social responsibility but a national duty. The more the recovered patients, the more this therapy will work. Otherwise, it's not feasible. In each state, it is, uh, there are only 15 to 20 people recovering. If they are willing to donate the blood plasma, it not provide enough support. So, in order to help this situation, we can uh, isolate from a animal who is infected from this virus and culture it as through monoclonal antibody or hybridoma technology from the small amount of antibodies isolated. So it is a trial and check method and it is going on and we should use the other animals as guinea pig but just like the snake venom but in this case uh, the humans are the guinea pig this is the drawback so hope you like this video and take care